Thursday Reforger updates are like Christmas mornings here in the Iron Beard household. So you can imagine my excitement to see that there was an update this morning to the experimental branch. Although this is only a minor update to the environment, it does have a juicy quality of life feature that I'll talk about in a bit. So instead of just reading the patch notes, which you can do yourself, link in the description, I think it's best to just show you the highlights so you can get a taste of what's to come. So the first thing we need to talk about is the birds and the bees. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that, a butterfly. Bohemia have added some more ambient life to Evron in the form of bees, butterflies, fireflies, and birds. Finally, the birds are more than a set dressing too, since they'll disperse in mass when frightened by loud noises such as opening doors, snapping twigs, and gunshots. And after you scare the flock of birds away, they'll actually come back after a short time. Also, Province isn't the only town with a power plant anymore. In this update, they've added a brand new location in between Mew and Kermavant. Could this mean they're getting prepared to release the electrical grid system in the next major update? I guess we'll have to see. If you've ever felt like vacationing on Evron, now's your chance because Bohemia have added some recreational props to the Pinewood Lake Resort in the form of campers and tents. It's really quite peaceful. That damn crowing bird over there, you're ruining my vacation! Yeah, that's better. Oh yeah! This is what we're gonna live in soon. The economy keeps going this way. Next up, we have some more flavor added to the environment in the form of murals on some of the buildings. They look quite nice and give Evron a more authentic and lived in vibe. Here's some before and after shots. They've also updated the visual effects of the water. And now waves are synchronized between clients too. Here's another before and after. If none of this gets you excited, how about some map markers that you can share with your teammates? That's right. We can finally start marking up the map with enemy locations and objectives. You'll have a limit of five markers you can place down, and the oldest markers will get replaced if you go above the limit. And you can set them to public for your whole team or private for only yourself. Also, you can't place down markers while you're in the respawn screen, so you'll need to mark targets before you get killed. Finally, the juiciest addition to this update is the addition of squad leader markers on the map. I remember giving this specific feedback way back when Reforger first came out because it was hard to stick together with your squad after you get killed and need to respawn. Now you can see where all the squad leaders are in real time. The only thing to note here is that squad leaders won't be able to see their own markers, so they still need to know how to read a map. The jury is still out on whether it's better to always show the squad leader markers or only on the respawn screen. Let me know what your position is in the comments below. Did you, did you see what I did there? Anywho, this is a shorter video this time as I'm working on something a little more entertaining. It's a secret for now, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. I'm Ironbeard and I'll see you on the battlefield.